Stop when you watch me, I don't yeah. give him my consent. I know. Unless you get plastic offs, mate, and uh, black belt jujitsu, mate. Yes! Come on. This has been the most emotional video of all the videos I've done, times by a hundred. Hi, my name's Christian Hoyle, and this is a video about the homeless community in Glasgow. This is Paul's story. Keep watching. If you're not subscribed yet, hit the bottom right hand corner. This is a powerful, emotional story of homelessness in Glasgow. Last video of last night, um, when I went back, I've arranged a drug rehab. Today's Wednesday, I'm meeting him in 15 minutes. And I was really excited, I think we've got there, I've done this, I've cracked it, I'm gonna leave him there, he's gonna do it. And then last night, I go out, I'm in a random place, random Italian restaurant, come out of the stairways, walk out, and he was there, stood right next to me, having a cigarette, it's Paul. It's just like, random. I have a random two, and the first thing, because when I saw him at night, I saw him twice last night, both times he was very different. Almost disillusioned, not from drugs. Like, almost not the same person as I see in the day, and I'll, I'll see that when I get there today, see what he's like. But, um, and I thought, ah, oh, he's not going to be able to do it. And then I thought someone else. I thought maybe that's him realising that he doesn't want this life. He has to walk, he has his little route, he begs, and then he walks round and then sleeps rough. He don't want that. And it's a drug addiction that's forcing him to have that. Because if you remove the heroin addiction, you know, it's this a thing of begging for, you know, we're all supporting the homeless, giving them money. I'd never ever really give money. But I did give Paul a tenny yesterday and I know what he's gonna do with it, which is just what I'm gonna say now. When we give money, you just feed them addictions. They just beg all day to go and get a bag and have their heroin, because people are feeding them as well. So what we're doing as normal people, we're just feeding the problem. You know, we're sort of, we're just sort of like, for our own peace of mind, thinking, you know, we don't have to worry about it, and we just feed their addictions. You don't even think about when you're putting that money in, all you're doing is shoving everyone up their arms and creating that life that they're already living. Because not all of them are drug addicts, some are different things, mental health, you know, there is some choice out there, everyone damaged. But when we put that money in, maybe we just want to give a bit of time, you know, give a bit of feedback, give a bit of warmth, give a bit of love. I don't know, but the last day in Glasgow today, I'm off to meet him now. This, sh this should be the uh, rehab video where I drop him off at rehab and, it, and some good things happen. But, um, wait and see, keep watching. Subscribe, bottom right if you're not subscribed. give him some love but after last night let's let's see let's see no matter what I want it's what he wants hopefully he wants it not and I wake up and do the same things I did the day before <laughs> that's my first time I've seen the police the whole time I'm here the drugs problem on the homeless community is mental. The war on drugs that uh, Boris has just come out with, he's aiming at the middle class, and that's fair. But there's another thing going on here with the, the begging for drugs, just general drug comp consumption, because we're killing them. We're just killing them. It's nuts. I've just got here now where he sits. This is right it right now. Right there. He's not here. I was really hoping he was going to be here, he was here every time. I'm going to come back. I'm going to go and come back in the hope that I've just missed him for a little bit. Ah!
And I sponsored him and I'd done everything and I'd helped him and I bought him a four and I just made it all happen. Oh. I'm not giving enough on it anyway. This is his spot. I'll find him again. I can't be sure, but I think that's him over there. Putting the um, sleeping bag away. Putting the sleeping bag away now. I think that's him. I'm gonna go and check out if it is. I really want it to be him. I really want to help him. Hey. Are we on? Are we doing it? Uh, We're definitely doing it. Yep. Go on, son. I want to say this, when I saw you last night, you look like a man who's fucking done with this. You're done with it. You were, you said you were someone else when I saw you. You're done with this shit. You're done with all this shit. This shit's, you're done with it. You're better than this. You don't want it anymore. Fucking fed up with this place. You are, you were fed up last night. It wasn't the you that I'd spent the day with. I thought I'd lost you, mate. I've got you. I can get you there and the rest is down to you but I'll help you every step of the way after if you do it if you do it I promise I'll help you all the way but you have to do it I can't do it do you know what I'm saying Paul do you want me to give you a few minutes to get started yeah yeah yes come on just look around when you come to a city and the beautiful things beautiful buildings look Beautiful buildings, beautiful people, beautiful lives. And then there's another bit. And there's people sleeping. Genuinely sleeping in doorways, not making it up. Fucking hell. The thing is, they can sleep other places from what I've got the message. There is other places, but some, you know, choose not to because they're hell holes. Right. Come on, positive flow. Positive grows positive. Let's send some in. We can do this. We're getting in there. I'm getting in there. Okay. Okay. He's coming. Right, I'm getting him a coffee. I was a bit intrusive then. I didn't mean to be. Well, did I? I've got a camera. I'm just trying to show that. I'm just trying to show that everyone can. Everyone can do it if they've got the support. I don't know if Paul's going to do it. Or that's me convincing myself. I'm not unrealistic. But I want him to. I want him to do it. <sighs> For this minute. I've never wanted anything more. So I'm getting this coffee in, then we're on the way to rehab. Let me plot it out, let me steam away all the wrinkles in this bag. I've got you scratch that when I'm gone. It's a lucky lottery ticket for when I'm gone. Oh, so put it away and open it. Yeah, yeah, I did put sugar in. Yeah. Uh, Bob went to the big man today. That's been He's definitely not the one in the moon. There he is. Getting over backwards to help people. It's one of them things. So, we'll see what today takes us. Okay. Today's the day to arrange it. Come on, this is that little bit of you wanting to do the drug. This is the drugs talking, saying I want to stop. That's what you're fighting. You're fighting this shitty life. You don't want it. You don't want it anymore, Paul. This is the bit you know, you're giving or you make your life what you want it to be. It's down to you now, you can do it. I'll stand behind you. You can do it. That's what you've always done before and this is ends. It ends with you dying in one of them places. That's where it ends. It doesn't have to end like that. 
Come on, mate. I'm sure we actually did. It's not, I don't mind wasting my time. I've got my time for you now. I've made my time. I'm happy to go. Just even if you just speak to him, you've made a little bit of the beginning of the journey. To be honest, I fucking hopeless anyway. You're not hope, no, the, no they, they are fucking hope. That's what everyone says who's battling their own addiction who doesn't want to give in. They've got a 4.9 rating out of 5. If I was eating there, I'd definitely eat there. Come on, mate. Come on. Let's just go there. No, Let's at a minimum mate. just go. You can do this. You just have to believe in yourself that you can do it. And you can. You can. You did it before. You can do it again. You just have to get through this, this little moment. You have to say, no, I'm fucking doing it. I'm doing this. You can do it, Paul. That little bit of doubt, remove it. That's saying, no, take the easy option. You don't want that anymore. That's what I saw last night. That's not what you want. I'm going to get a message You've what you don't. This is not what you want. I saw it in your face last night, Paul. You don't want that. You want? I'm Come not, on. I'm not, I'm not saying I'm going to fall back to this, but I'm not going back. I'm not going. I'm not going to be in that road again. Who else are you ever going to get that's give a fuck about you to make you do it like me? No one. I'll stick with you through the whole process after it. I appreciate it. I, I, I genuinely appreciate it. I genuinely do. But I'm not giving in on you. I'm not giving in. Unless you get plastic offs, mate, and a uh, black belt jiu-jitsu, mate. You've already started it. You're not getting rid of the pain straight away because you haven't got any money to go and get some. You have to earn it. It's going to take X amount of hours anyway. Just fucking use that hour with me to come down there. Is that from yesterday? <laughs> come on, mate. This is your time to shine. This is your time. No excuses. You don't want that. I saw it in you last night. That was the first time I'd seen how much you didn't want it. Sometimes I just get fed up. Of course That's you do. What it is. But you deserve to be able to go and sit down and watch a bit of telly if you want. Go out for a walk if you want. Go up to your bed if you want. That's what you deserve. And that's what you can get if you step out and go down there with me today. Yeah, I, mean, <laughs> I genuinely appreciate the effort. I genuinely, genuinely, genuinely make fucking... Right, I'm leaving you for 45. I'm coming back there in an hour. I'll be back at Tesco in an hour. Right. An hour. Come on, Come on Paul. I'll not, I'll not be there in an hour. You'll not be there. I'm gonna come whatever. I am. I'm not giving in on you. You giving on yourself, but I won't give in on you. I won't. While well, I'm in Glasgow, I gave you an opportunity. I would have carried on after it. I'm not lying. I'll sponsor you. I'll make things happen for you. Depends where you are. It's just the addiction. You're just fighting that addiction, that need, that, that thirst that that drug gives you. When are you going to have someone like me around? Never. I'm a rarity. Uh, this doesn't happen. I went to rehab myself on my own before, mate, so I don't need you to hold my hand. You know what I mean? I appreciate what you're doing for me. You're trying to give me a bit of the arse, but... I want you to give yourself a bit of the arse, not me. You're right, I'm passing through, but I'd have stayed with you. I wouldn't have given in on you. I wouldn't have. And I made it so all that thing with your family, you could sort it. Someone else being nothing different to you, I could sort anything. But I can't do this for you. You can only do it yourself. I'll see you in an hour. See you in an hour, too. All right, mate. Had this conversation more than ten times. After nine, I still wish you. Don't know how much of that we got with this bad audio we're at now. I'm going back in an hour. I don't know if I'll win. I just want him to know that. <sighs> Bloody hell, this is an emotional roller coaster. Whew. I think it's more bringing up my own problems as a kid.
I didn't want anyone to give it on me. People do, you create it yourself. <sighs> wow, I'm not giving in. What are you writing there, Paul? Let me just see. My handwriting is a mess, mate. What does it say? It's um, genuinely homeless, not one of the Romanian gangs who get out of B BMWs. You know what I mean? Who hand, hand on money in and get picked up at the end of the night back to their homes. I promise. In the UK, you've got rights. Loads of rights. You don't know it yet because you're not from here, but we got rights here. No one will find you and they'll look after you. You, they've convinced you that they won't look after you and they'll find you and they won't. A hundred percent, you can get away from anyone in this country. It's a brilliant country we live in. We've got loads of rights and stuff and you're here now so you can have them. Just get on a fucking train and fuck off somewhere. Glasgow, Manchester, Edinburgh, London, uh, Birmingham, any of them. Just get on it, they'll never ever find you. You get out at a station and you just say, right, I'm ready. Find a homeless shelter, you'll start at the bottom then you make your way up. Do this for yourself, but then just do it. Get on a train and fuck them off. I know what these are doing. I've seen them when they're around. I don't know if one's around me now. But just fuck them off. Get on the train and fuck them right off. You all right, Dan? Yeah, I'm good. I'm good. Giving you a consent to I don't know film? why. No, no, she hasn't. Oh, we have to stop filming. Okay. Okay. You don't know what I was saying then. So when you watch this video. I know, but stop when you watch. Me. I, don't give yeah. my consent. I know, but we're out in a public place, so you don't I have don't to give care. me your consent. I promise you. You don't have to. But when you see the video. Cold, perhaps, when you see the video, you're going to feel pretty bad about it. When you see the video, I promise you now sharing care. it in Glasgow, you will feel pretty bad about it. I don't care, so mate. You're, you're clearly exploiting somebody that's vulnerable. Okay. So when you see this video and you listen to what I said to her then, you're going to look pretty stupid. That's all I'm going to say to you. I am. Is it? You don't know what I'm doing next. So I've just walked off from the, uh, the, the PC guy and it's like... He has no idea what I'm trying to do. But yeah, it bothered me, it did. I've had a bloody emotional weekend and an emotional day after leaving him. And I've got Mr. PC. Yeah. We could say that which one of us is creating the problem or not because this, this, this begging gangs, it's taking the mockery out of people's generosity and kindness. And also about the homeless, but then it's just taking money from them feeding the habits. So I don't know, I'm a bit lost with it all and I'm very, you know, quite emotional about the whole experience. You know, I'm a going for clicks. I am trying to grow a YouTube channel. Yeah, I am. Yeah, he is sort of right. I am trying to get clicks in all my YouTube. This is just one of my other videos, but I'm genuine. And I just want to show people you can, whatever you want to do, you can do. It's like Paul, if he really believes in himself, he can get off the gear and have a life he wants. And that's you, whatever you're doing. You can do whatever you want to do. If you're in a job you don't like, you can get another one. If you're in a relationship you don't like, you can move on. If you're sick of where you live, you can live somewhere else. It's anything you can do. So uh, it's difficult when you get a lot of negative energy then. I'm just like releasing it. <sighs> Bloody hell, Glasgow, you've... Three different videos I've got, watch all three. The highs and the lows and the I'll be going back a broken man. Thanks for watching anyway, and uh, leave, you know, leave us out in the comments. Every troll in town will be saying that I'm only doing it for whatever reasons, but I swear to you, I wouldn't give in on Paul if he didn't give in on himself. I swear, I'm that guy. <laughs>
I met Judy yesterday with Peter as walking around and I just thought this is a lady who struggled with her own addictions and now going on to help people I just think it's amazing and she said when she got out of rehab herself she was giving money to everyone and I thought I think it's her time to get some money okay I've just dropped the card off for Julie the train's not for 25 minutes I'm giving him one more go I'm going back last time last time even if just to say bye I'm not you know not gonna force him to do anything but last time last time so I'm back outside uh, Central Station on the way back to see if Paul's there if he's not I gave it everything I could and you know and I'm not gonna give him a hard time now I don't think I give him a hard time before I was just trying to get him to want to do it and I can't make that happen <sighs> this has been the most emotional video of all the videos I've done times by a hundred thanks for watching sorry I'm at my usual buzz but I found it hard to well I have in some of them I hope he's there and I hope he wants to do it the rest I can't sort seven days cause I've been up till 6am he's not there I'm coming back in three weeks really wanted him to be there Oh, fucking drugs, mate. Heroin's a horrible drug. It's killing. Ah. That brings an end to this video. I'm really sorry I didn't quite get to what we want. I am coming back in a few weeks, so I will see him again. So much wanted him to be there. But everyone who watches this, he is there. So if you've seen this, at Shaw Paul, the love of Glasgow, I want every day a few of you turn up. Just say, uh, you can do this, mate. Don't give him money, give him love and time. Just tell him he can do it. You're supporting him and I'll be back. And if all of you watch this video, support him, that kind of energy just inspires. So let's inspire him to want to make the changes. And anyone else, you know. I could only do Paul, I can't sort the homeless out, but I had one opportunity to help one person and I went for it. And you can do the same. The thing is with drug addiction is that up until Paul will have created loads of problems with his family, everyone he knows, he'll have ruined it all, so they'll have a judgment till they've done things. But I came fresh, not judging. Eight friends I've lost to uh, heroin addiction and overdoses. I just wanted to save one. Thanks for watching.